Once you've gone over your flipbook once and created the basic gesture of it, you need to go back through and begin to refine it. So that means that you need to compare from frame to frame, page to page, what exactly is going on. So there, if you're moving an object, you need kind of a trajectory, an arc, a direction that everything is going. And you need to make sure that the points between A and B, you know, where it begins and where it ends up, all kind of line up. And you need to do that by using the transparency of the paper, using a light box if you have it or want to create one or purchase one, and um, figure out through at least three frames that you're going in the right right direction. Sometimes you'll find that um, that the positioning is off, like like the object isn't quite in the same space place when it needs to be relatively still, so you might have to refine that. The other thing that you need to refine is um, making sure that the object stays the same uh, size the entire time. Um, so if you're working with a shape like this, I've noticed that in my initial draft, it changes size as well as changing like directions and stuff like that. So I'm going back through saying, well, is this shape as it changes slightly and compresses and expands and shoots out, does it take up the same amount of space? So I'm having to go back and readjust and make sure that everything comes together in that way as well. So as I'm hitting these edges with the shape, I'm kind of creating an anchor point, making sure that that the shape stays in the exact same spot as it goes from frame to frame when it hits this edge, because I want it to um, compress in the same spot and then sort of shoot out and then move off the spot. So what I'm doing is um, going from frame to frame, leaving that, leaving the object in one spot and then readjusting. Um, I'm not going to go all the way through the flipbook, but this section gives you um, an idea of what you need to do with your flipbook. So here I'm working out towards the uh, apex of the arc. And at the apex of the arc, I'm going to skip to skip to that in a second uh, after double checking myself, and I'm going to make sure that this thing um, definitely works. So the apex of this it needs to be kind of a perfect sphere because there's no force acting on it in any particular direction. So I need to go back and refine that and make sure that everything's kind of working properly. The animation will definitely smooth out a lot when you do this. Um, one thing that you're doing also is making sure that when you're moving an object and you want it to stay moving at the same sort of rate, that you have the same distance between frames each time. So you can kind of see back through three layers of transparency or four even sometimes that the distance is kind of maintaining the same like eighth inch apart throughout the whole thing.